Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to E7. I'm coming to you from my car today. Yay! Um, so we had another incident that there's no way we could have ever, ever dreamed some of this stuff would happen. Uh, as we shared with you guys back last week, we had to prepare the containers and the camper for the extreme cold weather. We've been getting weather in and out that was really cold and is where the snow had came in, which was fine. We didn't have the roof finished on that part. That's actually where the deck is going to go for the rooftop deck. So we kind of expected there to be some snow in there. No damage was done. I just caught water in the buckets. It's all good. It's all dry now. So no issues there. Thank goodness. So I returned this morning. And when I got here, I started flipping on switches because we had turned off um, the heat and unhooked the water, you know, did everything we were supposed to do to basically just winterize it, walk away. And so I get back today and <laughs> start flipping on switches just like we're supposed to do. And within a few minutes, I hear a hissing sound, which is normal. That's what happens when the hot water heater starts coming on and the propane is going through and it's, it's heating up the water. So no big deal. I'm able to do some dishes, get some things taken care of. So, so a few minutes go by and I start smelling this horrible smell. Didn't really think about it. Sometimes that happens, especially when we first turn on the hot water heater. But I called James and he, you know, we both agreed. It was probably just from turning the hot water heater on, but to be safe, you know, opened up windows. I left for a little bit, kind of let it air out. So after a few hours, I come back and I pull up to the camper and the smell is so bad. I can smell it as I'm pulling up. Okay. I didn't go in, <laughs> um, at first. So I called James and he's on his way here now so we can check it out. But all the gas is off or all the propane is off to the camper. So we're hoping it's a simple fix, but oh, there's always something. So funny story, I get a phone call from my wife, Amanda, that says the RV smells like propane really, really bad, like stinks. So she shuts everything off. And a co-worker says, hey, you might just check the stove and see if that was accidentally bumped on. And that's exactly what happened. One of these burners was just barely on, filling this place with propane. So it's all good. No disasters. Um, don't turn your stoves on and not have the flame going. Every time you feel like, okay, we've got through this little bump. Now we're going to try to get back to normalcy. Bam! Here comes something else.